Day 278, feeling great, and today we did a very good day with a walk, went to work, and then I was about a mile from work, and I was like, what am I having for lunch today? Oh yeah, I made some extra taquitos, and I had some guac, and then I remembered yeah, I made it, but I didn't get it out of the fridge. <laughs> so, I was a little mad at myself that I had gotten ready a little early and then got to work. I was like, I've only got like three minutes. There's not, it's not, no, it's <laughs> not enough time to get back. But I did have a, protein shake, I had a banana, work had got us some donuts, so I had another donut, I had some beef jerky there, and I had some chips, and so I just munched a bunch of stuff, felt like I was going on a road trip, just ate a bunch of random food, and I thought I'd be okay, and then I got back from work, walked the pup, and we went for about 30-40 minutes, I had a good walk. And then we sat down, we played for a little bit. I was like, you know, it's only 5, 15, 5.30. Maybe I could eat the taquitos and give like two hours, then I can go lift and run. So yeah, that sounds like a good idea. So I ate the taquitos, immediately got tired. It's like, okay, I'm just gonna take a 10, 15 minute nap. 10, 15 minutes, gone back too, like, okay, I need to get ready, play with the pup a little bit more, and changed out of the clothes that, from work, got into some gym clothes, left late again, I got there right at like 720, 725, I just already put my, my earphones in before I even walked in the gym, I had called my dad on the way there. And I said, hey, you gonna watch the Suns game? They were playing Golden State. What do you think? We beat them last time, but they're gonna book her today. Who's gonna win? He's like, well, the odds are Golden State. They're at home. Steph Curry's gonna play well. The crowd's gonna get into it. And they don't have a major, the leading scorer for the Suns, but he's like, they'll give them a run. He's like, I think if they can hang on with them. Stay within about six to ten points. They they have a chance, and they did. They had they stayed with them until about the third or fourth quarter, and then they just pulled away. They lost by I think twenty twenty two. So it wasn't that close, and it I think it hurt more because it was a Thursday night. They had got eighteen wins in a row, which is a new franchise record, which is amazing. And so you just want them to ride that wave as long as you can. And then the next night, just to be like 24 hours later, riding on a high, crashing down. But I did see a cool interview that the coach had with the team. And he just was all positive. He said, you guys, I'm so proud. You, you played hard the whole game. You, you didn't panic. You hustle out every ball. You played smart. So I'm going to applaud that effort. That's what we want. Let's con continue. Let's keep that going. And then right after that, they had a little clap, which is deserved and is well-spoken. You know, leave on a positive note. That's a great run. 18 wins in a row. Amazing. New franchise record. Boom. Even better. And then Chris Paul speaks up. It's like, hey, something you didn't mention was Coach got coach of the month so let's give him a round of applause and so like two big positives coming out of a native which is great it was great to see that and I wish I could have watched the game but I could only hear it on Sir Sirius XM radio not nearly as fun but <laughs> at least I get some entertainment value from it and I feel somewhat more connected instead of just seeing a score or hearing someone tell me about it. But, I mean, that was later. 
Oh, oh. Usually I skip like two hours, so. Called my dad on the way to the gym. Got there at like 7.25, 7.20. I was like, okay, I got 30, 35 minutes to squeeze in a good workout. I did chin-ups yesterday, so I don't need to do those. So let's do bench press. Do some kind of squat or lunge. Let's do chest fly. And let's do, see what we have time left. And so I just did more circuit training, like almost like a 30 second on, 30 second off, 30 second on, 30 second off. I tried to keep it really quick and my heart rate was going up. And I had to drop the weight down a little bit just so that I could cover. And so I did, well, let's see where I go. Oh, excuse me. So I did one set of bench, and it was a different bench, and I was a little bit too high, so I had to put the weights down after I did eight, readjust it back a little bit more, did another set of eight. Then I went and did pull-ups, not chin-ups, but I did the pull-up. Then I did chest fly, went back to bench, did another set of bench, and then I did some lunges, and then I, what happened after that? Then back to pull-ups, chest fly, bench, chest fly, or pull-ups, chest fly. So that was a small circuit, and then I took a minute or two break, and then I did, I got like another two sets of curls, I never did two. I don't want to say I did three because I can't remember the third. Two sets of curls. Two. Three sets of standing row. I did another one. That may have been it because it was 7.57. I was like, okay, I don't want to be the last person in here that's 8.01, 8.05, 8.10. Like, hey, you got to get out. I don't want to be the other person. So I left. Went to my car, put the phone down, put the earphones down, drove over to the park, which is almost across the street, and I just started running. I said, just go, see how you feel. If you go and do three, do three. But I just got a little bit of a zone, a little bit of rhythm. It was really quiet. It was a nice park. I had two baseball, softball fields there. I've seen him play. I haven't paid too much attention. Maybe one's baseball, maybe one's softball. That could be it. And they're facing each other, so they share the infield. So it almost like a giant square. I, I didn't want to measure it. I, I could have done like a couple laps and gotten an approximate measurement. And it was about like three, just over three laps for a mile. I thought it was good. I thought it'd be closer to two and a half. It, it felt like a 450, 500 meter loop. Loop, square, square loop, if you want to say. And I got in three, felt fine. I was like, let's just do a couple more laps. And then at the time I was thinking it's only two and a half more laps to get four. And I, again, it was like three and a quarter or whatever it was. It's probably around 440 meters, 430 meters. Oh, that's gosh, excuse me. And then I finished the four. Did it four? Did I, was it a little bit over four? It's like 4.13. It's a little extra, 4.16. Pace was 7.32 average, it was nice. I think it just felt weird coming right off the lifting from like three to five minutes, jumping into a run, trying to get back into an easy run pace. And the other thing was I didn't want to be too taxing. I'm trying to I'm going to try to do ten miles tomorrow. And then probably didn't hydrate nearly enough. I didn't I didn't know what I was gonna eat. I didn't feel hungry. I ended up buying some 
caches, honey roasted caches. And I was going to make a protein smoothie, but I thought I had those two today. I had the one when I got to work, and then I said, you know what? Let me just fill this up again, put a little extra protein in, and I'll have another protein smoothie. Get some kind of calories and protein in. So I did that. I didn't want to drink enough more of that. I think that would be too much for my body. So I said, I'm okay with a smoothie. With, or not have a smoothie. So I got a couple more cashews. And I looked for something else to eat. I didn't have anything. So I'm trying to wind down. Go to bed. Get up. Walk the pup. Get my 10 mile run. And I feel like I should cut my hair. And then my friend had text me and said, how, how, how fond are you with lights, hanging up Christmas lights? I'm like, yeah, let's do it. I think I'm good. I think I'm scared to get on the roof. It's a two-story roof. Like, have you walked on a roof before? I'm like, yeah, I've walked on a few roofs. My dad had us do shingles as a kid. And we've gone up, like, watched fireworks up there. And I can't remember if we're at someone else's house that we were up on the roof. we were so yeah it's not a big deal it should be fine assuming it's not like a straight ledge <laughs> if that's the case someone say we need to go to ace and uh, ace um home depot and get a giant ladder so we'll see We're supposed to go over there at three hang out some lights and we'll go from there so That'll be the day. Kind of interesting. Again, in that Christmas spirit. Thought it helped, and then I gotta go buy a couple gifts. I don't know if we're gonna buy any families this weekend. Like wait till next weekend. I'll look. I'll keep an eye out for the family. But I got two kids. I'm shopping for. Almost like a Christmas angel thing we do for work. I have to look up the names again. I think they're three and eight. One boy, one girl, and I'd ask just to give me like siblings. I guess that's a story for another time. And I'll explain that and it'll make more sense later why why I get siblings this year as opposed to other years where I just get one kid. <clears throat> I guess it's just this year's, this year's a little different. Kind of remembrance of the friend. Anyways. I call it a night, push ups are done. Reading's done. Got in the run, 4.13 miles. Got in the lifting, what was it? Five lifts, close to five lifts. Whew. So good day, good day. I'm ready for bed. Let's see how tomorrow goes. So run your life with health and happiness. Have.